Hello, welcome to Kellogg Public Library's virtual story time. My name is Sherry. The story I'm going to share with you today is A Little Bit of Winter by Paul Stewart Pictures by Chris Riddell. Winter was coming. I'll miss you, said Rabbit. Will you miss me? No, said Hedgehog. I'll miss you, said Rabbit. I know, said H Hedgehog. You just told me. You are so forgetful, said Hedgehog. Forgetful, said Rabbit. Yes, said Hedgehog. I already told you why I won't miss you. Remind me, said Rabbit. I will be asleep, said Hedgehog. You don't miss your friends when you're asleep. Hedgehog picked up a little sharp stone and walked to the tree. Rabbit, he said, there's something I want you to do for me. Rabbit ate a little green grass, and then a dandelion leaf, and then some clover. Hedgehog wrote a message on the bark. Dear Rabbit, please save me a little bit of winter for when I wake up. Love, Hedgehog. I've written it down so you won't forget, said Hedgehog. Please save me a little bit of winter. But why, said Rabbit. Because I want to know what winter feels like, said Hedgehog. Winter is hard and white, said Rabbit. Winter is cold. But what is cold, said Hedgehog. I am cold now, cold and sleepy, he yawned. Rabbit prodded his friend. Ouch, he cried. Rabbit, said Hedgehog, it's time for me to find somewhere warm to spend the winter. Rabbit sucked his paw. I'll miss you, he said. Winter was bad that year. Snow fell. The lake turned to ice. Rabbit was warm in his burrow, but he was also hungry. That's the trouble with winter, said Rabbit, as he hopped outside. The colder it is, the more food I want. He looked around, and the colder it is, the less food I find. There was no green grass. There was no pink clover. Rabbit had to make do with brown, brown leaves, brown bark, a brown acorn. Dear Rabbit, Please save me a little bit of, for when I wake up, love hedgehog. Uh-oh. Rabbit looked at the tree where hedgehog had written his message. He dropped his acorn in surprise. The acorn rolled. It gathered snow. It turned into a small snowball. Rabbit read the message. Oh, dear, he said. A little bit of... What? The wind blew icy cold. Rabbit looked down at the snowball and remembered, a little bit of winter, he said. Rabbit rolled the snowball over the snow. It grew bigger and bigger. Rab Rabbit wrapped the snowball in leaves. They will keep the warm out. They will keep the cold in, said Rabbit. Then I'll store it underground. Spring finally came. The sun shone, the sun, snow melted, and the lake turned back to water. Hedgehog woke up. Hedgehog, said Rabbit. Rabbit, said Hedgehog. Oh, Rabbit, said Hedgehog, you have eaten winter. No, said Rabbit, I ate the bark, but I saved winter. It's in my burrow. I'll go get it. Hedgehog poked at the soft brown ball. You told me that winter was hard and white he said, and cold, he said. Just wait, said Rabbit. He pulled off the leaves one by one. Hedgehog stared at the snowball. It looked like winter. Hedgehog sniffed the snowball. It smelled like winter. Hedgehog grasped the snowball in his paws. Ouch, he cried. It bit me. That, said Rabbit, is what winter feels like. Thank you for remembering, said Hedgehog. I remembered because I missed you, said Rabbit. Did you miss me? Hedgehog sighed. 
Oh, rabbit, he said. And that's the end of our story. Thank you for listening. Please hit subscribe and the like button, if you will.